Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Dizzy Viper and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Stutzo style render. I already did a video on that a couple of years ago. Um, and now I'm making a new video on his new style, um, which is these stone structures that are uh, broken up. And before I start the video I would like to thank Stuart or Stutzor for letting me make this video. A couple of people have asked me how I would do this and I always redirected them to Stutzor himself because uh, it's his style and not mine. Uh, but it left a little mark on me and I started to try it out in Cinema 4D so I was like hmm actually I don't know how to do this I could I could try it out and um, I found it out by accident actually I was trying out some some random things and it happened and so I thought hey let's ask Sutzer if it's alright with him to do a tutorial on this and he was absolutely fine so big props to him if you are not following him already definitely do so he has amazing daily renders and yeah and also uh, I'm sorry for the weird voice um, I'm a bit sick I have a bit of a cold actually um, but yeah let's get straight into the video so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, use a 3d model by the French monkey from his asset pack um, which is these poses right here and I'm gonna use let's say I'm gonna use this one Lucy uh, and as you can see it's a little low poly right here and we're gonna leave that like that for now uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our, our MoGraph tab and select Voronoi Fracture now we're gonna put our model into that and as you can see it gets split up into parts like this um, I like to play around a little bit with these things so we're gonna go into our sh shader right here into the source and here you can change your distribution type to whatever you like when I tried it out the first time I used normal which worked uh, the best in my opinion like that so yeah that's pretty much all that you have to do in here you can obviously play a lot around with all the settings but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and now I'm gonna make this editable like this uh, now as you can see we have a lot of different uh, objects I'm gonna select all of them by selecting the first one and then shift clicking to the last one that way all these objects get selected uh, now I'm going to right click on it and connect all the objects, plus I'm going to delete the originals so I end up with only one of these. Now as you can see all the parts disappeared, it looks like it's only one, but they are not completely gone uh, and you will see that right now. Now we're going to add the subdivision surface, put our human into that and as you can see it gets broken up into these parts. They look a little weird but if you like this style you can leave it like that already. But to get the real Stutzor look, you set the type to uh, Open Subdiv Cut Catmull Clark, like this. And as you can see, uh, all these cracks get a little smaller and they start more looking like stone cracks, like this. Uh, and that's pretty much all that you have to do. Um, as for the materials, I'm going to use uh, some Quixel textures. Uh, you can also use uh, different textures. Um, for example, you can also just use a gray glossy material with some roughness and put a noisy uh, a noise uh, note into the bump map to create some sort of rocky look. Like I said I'm gonna use a Quixel texture which is inside my Quixel tab right... Oh, where is it? Quixel Megascans? No. The Megascans 2. Substance and right in here I'm gonna use... which one did I use here? Right, the construction tab. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the plaster rough this one uh, I'm not gonna use an albedo well I'm gonna use it a little bit to but I'm, I'm gonna decrease it a lot and make it sort of slight yellow and a little darker like this so you get sort of this look um, now I'm gonna set it to glossy put the specular material in it as well which is this one right here and then the normal map and I think I'm gonna leave the displacement map out that sometimes works as well and now I'm gonna put the whole material on our subdivision surface just like this I'm gonna delete the old material as well there we go and if we're gonna go into Octane right now you can see that we got this look right here we could technically um, decrease the size a little bit because the it's a little too big for my taste, so I'm gonna put it to like 75 maybe. Which looks a lot better, maybe even less, let's put it like 40. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. That's how you create these broken up structures, uh, sculptures. I don't even know how to call them. Just like Stutzer does. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It was a really quick tutorial because it's uh, actually quite easy to make. And um, I love the look of it. And yeah, again, shout out to Stutzer for letting me make this tutorial. And I wish you all the best of luck for your future everydays and stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please make sure to leave a like and you can ask whatever you want inside the comment section and, and I will try to answer them as good as possible. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.